Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's the end of January and I'm gonna be doing my current favorites with you today. Um, basically my January favorites, but I don't like to call it that because I don't do it every month. Um, yeah, I have a few things I wanted to show you this month. And yeah, I'm just, um, I'm vibing with a few things at the moment. So I hope that you enjoy the video. I'm trying to make my videos shorter because I end up rambling and it's so long for me to edit. And also people don't want to watch a half an hour video it's just annoying so um yeah let's get into it so the first thing i want to show you were these um these are the miley gel polish pre-soaked remover wraps um i used to get well before this lockdown i was getting my nails done gel every month um and i was left with a gel manicure um when we went into lockdown and i needed to get it off and these were only seven pounds on asos so i thought i would try them out and they're really really good um they helped me get all my nail polish off and so I could paint my nails again. Um, you basically like cut the top off and then put your finger in it and like it like sticks to your finger. You know what I mean? Probably doing a really bad example of what it does. But yeah, you basically put your finger in. There's this um, pre-soaked pad in there um, which has the acetone on it and you just leave it in there for like 20 minutes, one on each finger and then you can like scrape the gel polish off then and i found i found these really easy to use they didn't damage my nails and yeah they got the gel off so these are a favorite and it comes with a hundred wipes in there so i literally have so many left um so in the future if we ever go into another lockdown and i can't get my nails taken off or if i just want my nails off at home or can't get to the salon for some reason they will come in super handy next item staying on that kind of line of things i suppose um <laughs> i have the revolution nail polish which i showed in my recent asos haul this is what i have on my nails right now and i just think the color is beautiful um i put a story up on instagram and i had this nail polish on and so many people messaged me asking what the color was and it really does last as well it's not chipped at all yet and i've had this on for over a week it's just revolution makeup I said that's so wrong makeup revolution london high gloss nail polish with avocado oil in the color sage um and they had loads of different colors i also got this on asos um and yeah it's really good the bottle is a lot bigger than i thought it would be as well um it looked really tiny you know those like tiny bottles of like nail polish that you get um it looked really tiny on the website but it's actually a vibe um it's a good size and worth the money i think this was only like four pounds um but yeah this color is just I just love it <laughs> next thing is a book and i read this in two days i honestly am shook i haven't read a book that quickly since the summer um and i've been in a bit of a reading rut lately i found i don't know if it's because i was trying to read like heavy going books um but in order to try and get back into reading i basically picked up this one and i this has been sat on my bookshelf for a while um it's the family upstairs by lisa jewell and this i bought this around october time and a lot of people were reading it in the summer but i was a bit late to the party but i can honestly say this is one of the best books i've read since god i don't even remember the last time i read about a I don't even remember the last time I read a book this good. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. Literally was on the edge of my bed the whole time and I'm still having nightmares. So <laughs> we love that. Um, but yeah, this is really, really good. Highly recommend it. It was only like five pounds. Um, probably can get it for cheaper in like the works or somewhere. Um, but now it's open. So, <laughs> oh, lockdown is so depressing. Yeah, anyway, this book is really good. I highly recommend it if you're bored or like I was in a reading rut. It's really easy going. Um, there's not too many words on the pages, you know what I mean? Like it's a nice sized, medium sized book, I would say. And yeah, it keeps you pulled in to the story. So I highly recommend this book. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm reading Jeff Vandermeer next. So I'll let you know probably next month how I found that, but this is significantly larger. So yeah. <laughs> Next, I have the bullet journal that I've been using. Um, I showed this in a vlog recently and I am in love with this book. Um, I've been finding it really therapeutic to journal my life, basically. And this is the book that I do it in. And, and this is what I'm putting in my favourites today. Um, this book was off Amazon. I'll try and link it down below. It's the best quality journal I've ever owned. So it's a bullet journal. So if you don't know what that is, it's got the bullet... Um, 
pages rather than lined um and yeah this is honestly so nice it's got 180 pages i think in there little sneak peek of my vision board which i also sneak peeked in my vlog um this is just giving me life at the moment i am really enjoying writing in it every day and yeah i highly recommend journaling if you have any kind of like anxiety or just if you just want to chill yourself out a bit i'm trying to find my zen and this is helping so yeah i highly recommend this book i will link it down below it's also really nice i don't think it's leather but i think it's like fake leather um better for the environment but um yeah this is oh it's the brand stationary island as well but yeah highly recommend journaling in general um and also this book if you're gonna start journaling get one of these they do them in loads of different colors okay now onto a couple of skincare bits um i recently repurchased the inky list pha toner um i originally used this this was the first inky list toner that i i used because my skin is quite sensitive and i really really love this toner it literally does bits for your skin it's the weakest of the chemical exfoliants of pha toner whereas bhas and ahas are a bit more intense um and then i thought i would up it uh, recently i've been using the glycolic acid and it's a bit much for my skin um, my skin doesn't enjoy the glycolic acid as much it kind of makes me a bit more red um so i've decided to switch back to this one and it honestly does wonders my skin is having a bit of a mare at the moment like actually not doesn't look too bad today but you can kind of see underneath my foundation that it is not the happiest of bunnies um at the moment um <laughs> I don't know why i used that phrase that was really weird <laughs> um but yeah uh, my skin is reacting because i've been eating a lot of dairy lately and i know full well that i shouldn't eat dairy because it makes my skin bad but i've been doing it anyway um so i actually am gonna go and buy some like vegan chocolate and vegan ice cream and custard and things like that um because those are the things that get me when it comes to eating dairy and like my skin just ends up flaring up and it's it's just a slippery trap because I just want some chocolate. <laughs> I want to have some nice food um, and I can't because my skin is fucking shit. But yeah, I'm hoping that this helps revive my skin alongside cutting out dairy again because yeah. Also the Inky List are just good anyway. I use their niacinamide every single day and I would highly recommend. So I've been using the CeraVe moisturising lotion for so long now um, and I'm running out a little bit. So I thought I would switch back to the tiny bit of this that I have left. This is the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors and Hyaluronic Acid Moisturiser. I really enjoy this. It's really, really good for moisturising the skin and it's never caused any irritation or anything for me. Um, it's just a nice moisturiser, like it's not too thick, and I, which I do find the CeraVe one a bit too thick sometimes, which, which is why I wanted to switch back to this one, maybe even just at night, like I might use the CeraVe one in the daytime and this one at nighttime or vice versa. Um, but yeah, I have been really enjoying using this just here and there with alongside my CeraVe um, one. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think it's one of my all-time favourite moisturisers that I've used. The Ordinary really did bits with this product. As you all know, I'm a lover of Zara perfumes and my favourite one is Wonder Rose, um, but nowhere has had it in stock lately. Whenever I like, obviously before the lockdown, whenever I went to Zara, um, nowhere had it in stock and my nan bought me my other favourite for Christmas. Um, so I got a restock of the Zara Tube Rose perfume. <sighs> Can I just this and wonder rose mixed together is my favorite scent in the world like that is my scent like everyone used to say that i smell like sweets um and that is oh the only way i can describe it really is so delicious this smell is amazing um i kind of don't like telling people about my scent and like what perfume i use because it's my scent do you know what i mean but um this really is my favorite perfume this was the one i tried first and then i tried wonder rose um and wonder rose is probably my favorite of the two but both mixed together beautiful absolutely stunning best scent ever um i don't think i'll ever love another perfume more than those two um but yeah i got another one of these for christmas and i just had to show you because it is one of my favorite scents of all time okay finally i have oh fuck <laughs> i have some rings to show you guys so i have been looking on depop lately for some rings and some bits and bobs just here and there i'm basically had a bit of a fashion crisis um a few weeks ago and i basically decided that i because i haven't been going out and wearing clothes i feel like i'm just like so unfashionable at the moment and obviously it's just because i'm sat in my bedroom all day wearing tracksuit bottoms um and i haven't actually gotten properly dressed in a while um and even when i film a video i put on a top and then I just sit in my tracksuit bottom. So I've started 
like promising myself that I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna actually make an effort again um, because otherwise I feel disgusting. It just makes me like really like brings my self esteem down and I don't enjoy it. Um, and part of that was revamping my jewelry collection. And this girl on Depop, I'll put her at, I think it was called Rings and Bits. Um, she has the most amazing products. Um, I have been seeing these rings in fashion absolutely everywhere at the moment. They're very 90s vibes. Um, I definitely owned some of these that you like would get out of a magazine when you're a kid. Um, and they were brilliant. I probably could find some at home somewhere if I tried. Um, but yeah, I love that these are coming back in stock. They're very La Manzo, is it La Manzo or La Monzo? La Manzo, I think, right? Or La Monza. There's a brand, it's really cool. Um, she's basically taking the 90s vibe and making it her own and making these really unique pieces. And a lot of people are doing inspired versions um, because hers are quite expensive. Um, but I got these anyway from a girl, along with a nice little rose quartz one, from a girl on Depop called um rings and bits and these rings are so cute so i got this little rose quartz one which is so pretty um and then i got this one which is pink and yellow which is a vibe i think that in the summer will be so cool as well um and then this one which is oh <laughs> i went to do that the wrong way um this cute little flower which matches my top today um but yeah i am really vibing with that style and i really would like a Le Man Le Monzo, whatever she's called she's really good um one of her rings i'd love to own one of those i think they're so cute um and yeah i also ordered from depop like a necklace and some ear cool earrings but they haven't arrived yet so i would have included those but i couldn't um anyway that is the end of my haul today my haul that is the end <laughs> Oh my god that i do this in every video where i mumble up my words because i'm talking too fast and it's so annoying that is the end of my favorites video for today i wanted to keep it as short and sweet as possible so i'm hoping this video is like no longer than 10 minutes because i find it boring um when i watch long videos nowadays i'm not really into watching as long videos i used to love an hour long video and now i just can't sit through it but yeah you don't want to hear me talk for that long anyway um so i'll end the video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see when i post and yeah i will see you next time peace out bitches <laughs>